Right, so I'm just sitting in here. I would say I was editing, but I'm actually just watching uh, music videos at the moment. Bit of Nightwish. Awesome band. Best band in the world. Um, yeah. So today, it's going to be fishing out in the boat video. Now this is footage, I've obviously I've still got footage left out, I don't have a lot of footage left, but I've got some footage still. Now this is kind of the footage I pushed to the side and probably wasn't going to use, I was probably just going to delete it and start with obviously fresh fishing trips. But, circumstances being what they are, with viruses, lockdowns and that, I will use this footage up, or at least until we can get back in the boat and hopefully there's enough there to keep going with the fishing videos. Um, now I know there are people that are going out and, and running around and doing stuff, but it's a lockdown and you know, they're only going to spread the disease or catch it or spread it or whatever. And you know, it's just going to draw everything out so much longer. I wish people would just stop for a couple of weeks, get it cleared. I mean, we're on an island here. You could get it cleared, then we'd be virus free, but you know, people aren't taking it seriously and until people start dropping down dead around them some of them won't take it seriously but anyway um, yeah what else we got coming up we've got I think there's one more but there'll probably be one more boat video because like I said it's pretty much finished I've just got to anti-foul the, the underneath but you don't want to anti-foul it before it goes in the water too long you need to anti-foul it and get it in the water within a couple of weeks. So I'm leaving that until nearer the date. Then I'll anti-foul it because it dries very quick. So that's almost complete. And I mean, if you've got any suggestions for videos, go ahead. I mean, I'm, I can do what gear we're going to take out. Like rods, reels, lures, all that sort of stuff that I'll take with me on the boat. Or I can go over the boat license maybe if you want to know about that. Now, I might not be 100% accurate on that because they do change stuff like like how many flares you've got to carry or whatever, they change things each year or every so often, just to confuse you, you know, just to make a point. <laughs> but um, but I'm all set with that because, I mean, I pretty much bought all my gear a little while back and uh, we bought, well, we picked up four flares the other day, it was like 115 quid or something like that. Crazy, before the lockdown, obviously. Um, so yeah, luckily I bought everything just before we went in, well, I say just before, a few weeks before lockdown came in. So um, we got all that out of the way. Anyway, today we're going to go out and check some parts. Uh, I think there's a bit of mackereling or something like that um, near the end of it. So, until the next video. So another day of light winds. Well, at least until the very last minute when they decided it wasn't going to be light. And it's going to be quite windy and getting windier. Um, tide's going down, so we'll be right. We're going to go and do some pots. If we can't do the ones around the corner, then we'll leave them. It might only be a very short trip today. Now, can you see anything different? I'll give you a minute there. Think about it. Well, well done if you got it. You see got a new outboard on the back of the dinghy. I say new, it's not actually new, but it's newer. Right, let's get fishing.
test it. Knife handle, <laughs> big handle. The old one broke, so I just made up one for it. Trouble is, it's been quite a lot of swell. It doesn't help that when you get swell. You see on the road there. <laughs>
this is one clawed crabs lately, but that's all I seem to catch, one clawed crabs. Yeah, nice ones, but every one has got a one claw. What's, what that's all about. The last three decent ones I've had have all had one claw. In that one nice. Finally got a good one because that one I just noticed the other one we had's got a smaller claw as well. So that's one decent one. This one looks like he's lost his claw to that one. Judging by the uh, how fresh the break is. was the fish and the bottom. The fish probably tried to go in the bottom. But then again, maybe not. Let's find out if it's a mackerel or a pollock. It's dinner! Mind you, that one's a little small. I say a little small, it's big enough, but I want a big one. I'm going to keep trying to see if I can get a big one. I do have somebody who wants mackerel still, so there's always somebody who wants mackerel. Trouble is they want a lot of mackerel and there isn't a lot of mackerel around at the moment. They came and went. Small shoals, you see. Hold on, hold on. This might be a big one. Feels a bit suspect actually. And it came off. Felt a bit more like a horse mackerel or something like that. That's where to catch fish, go on your phone. Try that again in a minute. <laughs> Dinner. That's a nice one. There we go. Here's a fish. 